It's feedback gaming. Welcome back to my Zai 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 Zai, Zai Super San Ma video. We've uh, made an attack into the Japanese, made some spicy encirclements here. Menchuko is 1% away from defeating Ark. Okay, in that case, we want to try and get rid of them, knock them out of the war. Infrastructure here is broken, though. Hmm. Probably want to do that. And then turn you guys around and try and... Ooh, actually. And wedge them against that front line. That'll be... Oh, we've just lost that mountain. Um, Go here and then here. Good. Get them in position. Do a staff office plan. Get all that planning bonus. How are we doing with air game? Oh, we've shot down so many of their planes just by ground base AA. The buffs they made to ground base AA is so worth it. They're so spicy. There we go. Done. Support. Support. Stem that combat width. Charge them with the horse. You guys move into that position. Want to move forward here, but the supply is really tight. Oh my god! That oh, he was on last stand. I wonder why he was holding so well. He was uh, he was literally last standing. The Japanese oh Spanish division there. Oh my god! They're really pounding the these guys here. Come on, guys! Let me out! Let me out! They're literally like attacking me from all angles to try and pin them in. I imagine they're wasting a lot of equipment doing this. We've managed to mine, managed, managed, finally managed to break out. At this point, they're pretty much already beaten to, you know, Benchuko's dead. At this point, we can just clean up. I love getting encirclements in this part of the world. I think encirclements are way more fun when everything's like closed off and you've got like borders you can push them up against. I just find it's way more fun. Get them, boys. Bye bye, Spanish division. Collect all the divisions. Get rid of the tanks. And then support attack. Combat width 120. Siam joins the Greater Prosperity Sphere, even though the wedge between France and Barrage. Okay. So, what do we do for the short term now? Um, democracy is good because it gives political power, and Executive Yon is uh, is good too because it gives extra political power per day. But that's not something we really need. So, we're going to increase inflation so we can go for the grain tax. The grain tax is so good because it reduces consumer goods by 20%, which is really, really good. At this point, I think they're already beaten up. I don't think they're going to recover. I've got 10 divisions here. Can we do like a really sneaky thing here by, by like getting around the back of this 10 division stack? Oh my god, if we could, that would be so amazing. Uh, extra search slot. Man, what do we even research anymore? We've got everything we want. Machine guns, maybe? Five tanks. I can't believe they're not moving. Why are they just standing there? You're gonna go around the back here. You guys are gonna go around the back here. Go here. Ah, oh, the five divisions here is really keeping them held in place. But can we break it? Oh, wait, maybe we can. And ten divisions in circle. Correct. Melting away the organization. Got him. Okay, in this case, we might as well just go for another one here and here. No, no, please. Go here, here. There we go. <clears throat> I can't break those tank divisions. The, the the speed that we're pushing forward is kind of limited, and the reason that's happening is because they're, uh, they're hitting us from the sky.
my god, really? Three divisions? Let's let one of you and break you off just to hold him in place. And that's it, yep. Yeah. And he's over. Good. Perfect. Also, the movement speed's reduced too. Due to they've got that, they've got air superiority. That's uh, slowing us down a little bit. Okay, this guy's getting slightly better. I guess he's no longer a complete cook. He's uh, a little bit stronger than he was before. Was before. Here, here. And you gone, boy. What's next, eh? We're going to go through the center here. Raid artillery, we're not going to do that because I want to make sure I keep the production efficiency up. Oh my god, we broke through that like nothing. It's that 75% attack bonus is insane. Do I say insane a lot? Insane, insane, insane. I'm moving cavalry forward because I don't want my front line to collapse. Prevent them from reinforcing the rear. What, another pocket? Another one? Another one! I'm surprised they've not tried to land me on the coast as well. Pan. 2,000 planes, 48 ships. Ah, okay. They've lost most of their fleet. Maybe to the UK, I guess. Maybe UK and France. It's a lot of divisions. What? Welfare is done. Now we can go for price controls and grain tax. And oh wow, they're holding out. What? What happened? They're not reinforcing. Are they suddenly getting plastered from the air? I don't know. That's weird. Oh, balls. I can't be asked to wait for this. Support. Here we go. <clears throat> New trait available. Panzer Leader's on his way. Can we maybe add an extra tank on and do this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's finally put the nail in the coffin. Let's grab these ports and that causes a lot of supply issues. At that point, they're already dead anyway. Rip. I think if there's anything I can go for that's useful in the short term. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to play the long game here. I'm literally just going to occupy all of China and end it from that point on. Um, so you need to be thinking more on the long run here. So I'd recommend building an air force or a navy. Preferably an air force first. And then working on navy. Probably massing tack bombers or massing close air support. That'll work quite well. But at this point, I'm pretty much done with the build itself. Go. I want to make sure the initial break when I plow into their front lines is incredibly strong. Like our main infantry force is quite strong too. I mean, supply issues, <laughs> yeah. As we sweep around as well, artillery, more artillery damage.
And that's pretty much it. Can we end this now? Yeah, it's done. It's done. Let me let, let one port to left now. Is that port? And that's it. All it's weird how they like these three ports, one, two, three, connect all the supply to this region. Insane that. I'm overextended here. Yes, you have. Oh no. Ah, oh, I'm having a massive supply problem. Uh, what are we doing? Price controls. Go here, then here. Why here? Th these troops here are having supply problems. That's the reason why they're not reinforcing as quick. There we go. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah, supply here is absolutely dreadful. Um, oh, made an encirclement. That's cool. It just shows, you know, that cavalry moving faster than infantry create these accidental encirclements all the time. That's really sweet. Here, just to make sure the pocket doesn't close. And there we are. We're here. At this point, I think I want to probably go directly through the center. Grab this city. That's right now I wanted to get out of this supply zone. This supply zone is really killing me. Non-aggression packs and access from all the allies. No. I forgot about war economy. Um, back room backstabber could be kind of useful because it gains extra political power. So I guess that can stack in the long run. I didn't pick the military theories too. That's something I should have selected a long time back. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna lose a horse. Never mind. One and go. Move these troops up. He's getting nervous. So weird how this connects by a tiny little bridge here. Moving in. Go in. Save him. There we go. Alright, oh, you guys can stop attacking now. You already pooped. Price controls and grain tax. Alright, are they going to collapse in on themselves yet? Or... Nope, miles away. No, you can't get a quick capitulation on Manchuka, so they don't have a lot of victory points. Maybe. Oh, it's got to go through mountains there. My oh, balls, it just do it. It's a low org, you can probably get through the mountains quite easy. Oh my god, steel, what the f It's because all the extra factories are signing on to guns, aren't they? I think that's what's happening there. Oh, here, boys. There we go. Oh, what the hell? Linked in from the back. You dare. Uh... 
One guy is struggling to break. I, I can always tell that the air is playing an impact on the battle. When I uh, I see them just about to win and the green bubble appears, and then all of a sudden it sticks on the 88% like on the bubble. It's because the air is starting to bomb and cause problems. Okay, can we go through here and save these guys? Ah, oh, you just sneaked in out of the blue, you cheeky swine. How the hell did they arrive and then instantly get booted out again? The retreating tanks, guys. Okay, alright, alright, okay. I think I'm grinding here for way too long. Uh, I'm not liking the way this is going. But in this case... Oh my god, why... Why is the supply so... Bad! Uh, maybe we should... Oh, it's annoying because I want to... See, so if it wasn't for the supply being bad here, I would have already sneaked through. Maybe I'll just split them in Korea. Let's just, just slice them in the half in Korea. Yeah, that's a good part. I don't need to. I need, don't need that port. I just need to cut them off here, don't I? Oh, we have a naval dot yards now. What a naval dot? A navy? What's that all about? Navy. Pfft. All right. Okay. Can we go through here now? And yeah. It's amber now, that's not too bad. <laughs> We've lost another horse division, which is a little bit annoying. And can we get the next artillery? Yeah, we can. Oh wow, we've fallen a little bit behind. Mmm. One other thing you could do too is you could work down electronic engineering and get the extra encryption decryptions. It's always a nice extra 2.5% extra attack if you've got the advantage of your enemy, so it's always good. Do 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 ba da ba da ba. If we push downwards here, I can guarantee you there'll be uh, divisions here. Zero supply. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Oh look, the deorging. Oh, just go. Let's go. The reason it's still showing us red is it a risk? I don't understand. It's not a risk. In this case, we like we outnumber them. What? All right, okay, uh, need... In fact, everyone, actually, now I think about it, everyone just go here. Be aggressive. Oh, the air is such playing a pain. Oh, no, no, maybe it's not. Hmm, okay, maybe not. All right, okay, the tanks don't need to be here. Uh, the tanks can turn around now. In fact, the tanks can actually go in dead center. And then do that. Just fan out. Land lease from the uh, garage for extra artillery. Ah, okay. I thought this was going to happen eventually. I thought I'd get worn down on the amount of uh, artillery and uh, AA. Grain tax. There we go. Uh, we do lose a bit of stability and war support. But we are in a situation now where we uh, have really low consumer goods. Consumer goods use, 0%. <laughs> Perfect. These guys should have been exercised and trained out. Ooh, it's got five attack. Nice. Panzer leader? Very close. Very close. 
That's it. The Japanese should surrender now. But I don't know. Maybe the event only fires for uh, China defeating Japan. Maybe it's not one of the warlords. I'm not sure. We're about to find out anyway. That is a capital, but yeah, it has no victory points. So why is this not turning to the capital first? I don't get it. Usually it goes to the one with the most victory points as a secondary state. Hmm. We're winning them here because look, they've got no, they've got no org. You'll have been defeated, sir. Here you go. Here you go. Clean them up. Oh, and they pick the white piece. Okay. Oh, but they've, they've white piece with China. They've not white piece with me. <laughs> okay. I wonder if you had an Iron Man on right now, that would have re resulted in an achievement. I'm not even certain. I don't even know. <laughs> Wow. Alright, we need five divisions again. One, two, five. Actually put them on priority. Nice. Okay, now we put you guys here. Um No, actually I wanna put you on a different field marshal. Oh, we've got this guy now. This is the guy that we get from... Uh, oh, so you get, the, you get the general as well. So I guess that's kind of worth it, I suppose. I guess. Why have you guys not joined the front line? Here, yeah, there you go. I wonder what the best thing to do is that pushing the tanks here and just push this way. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Build that up to max. Yeah. Can't believe we're still at war with them as well. <laughs> wow. Two, one. Just trying to build as much as I can right now in one spot. One, two, one. Yeah, that's good. Supplies a bit low around the southern areas. Let bring them at least three infrastructure. That'll be fine. Oh, moving our capital is such a big deal in this. Such a big deal. Going to be attached onto that army. Good. What is to go for right now, guys? I don't know what this one would do. Subjugate the warlords. There's actually no warlords left, but it's subjugate myself to China. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, democracy. Okay, we'll do that. Still at war with Japan. Stage a board. Oh, we could do border conflicts still. <laughs> it feels kind of weird to do that, but yeah, we could do it. Put you guys here. You guys are gonna get assigned to this front line. Here. All right, brilliant. Don't need as much steel, which is good to see. At this point, you can always think about long the long term gains, but too by uh, maxing out all this infrastructure. There's also the captain of industry. You can only go for the socialist market economy. That means you can only do that if you go commie China. Commie China warlord. <clears throat> yep, the supply issues there, not a surprise. Probably should prioritize the ones that have got the lowest. The lowest uh, infrastructure, shouldn't I? Got so many tanks. Can we add a tank onto all. We 
do that. <laughs> oh, we're just shy of like 800 tanks. We're really close though. I will do it. Forget it. Who cares? It's all good. Oh, let's make the divisions really big then, isn't it? <laughs> Gonna make their supply go through the roof. We not got an organizer. Uh, oh yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Is this guy an organizer? Why is he in the list then? Huh. The reason we want an organizer is because we can do this. Logistics wizard. Not the cavalry expert too. Oh, why not? We go for thorough planner as well. Field Marshal here. There we go. That way we can severely use less supply. Oh, look how the supply has dropped considerably. Beautiful. Good. And now we can declare war on the Chinese. Even though there isn't really an option for that, is there? You're really struggling on this border to have enough divisions. This actually could be a problem. Yeah, we actually don't have enough division to actually hold the front line. Interesting. Six divisions. See, that's a lot of divisions. Hmm. This could actually be a bit of a concern, actually. I don't think we could defeat these guys as quickly as we think. The border conflict. I have at least one division in the Shandong region. I do have one division in this region. Okay. Okay, do you want to see the biggest dogpiling of uh, divisions ever? There you go. This is the biggest exploit ever. Like, how many divisions are we going to put on this now? <laughs> <laughs> we've already reached the we've already reached the limit though of the amount of divisions. If you do escalate the border conflict, you can make the combat with wider, but it costs you 200 political parts. Really expensive. Yeah, it's really, really pricey. I think we could probably win this. It's probably going to take a while, though. Just grinding against the front line here. We do more soft attack than... Oh, I don't know. They've got lots of soft attack now, too. They've had time to sit and just chill, and that extra support artillery goes a long way. But it's going to be difficult for them to win because the battle's going to go on for so long. Difficult one. Can it be won? Can it be won? Oh, no. They're going to reinforce now? Yeah, they are. <laughs> they just keep coming back. Surprising we don't defeat them straight away due to the fact that we've got armor. That might be the reason why we're still holding. Did I escalate it? I could escalate it, couldn't I? Oh, I'm not getting any political power. Just keep reinforcing. This is the, one of the issues with border conflicts. They're just The troops just keep recycling on the front line and it just goes on and on and on. But luckily, these guys are going to have some insane XP when they're done anyway. There we go. And we won. Yay! This guy with, like, so many divisions on one on one guy. One dude. Okay. Um, build Marshal. Logistics Wizard. I'm trying to think what I should do here, because this front line is way too big. The only thing I can think of is just make more make more of these. Just make more a larger army. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, I'll train another 24 stack. And then I'll fabricate. Yeah, let's do that. 60 days though. Ooh, we've got enough time to do that, maybe. Oh, 
All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. Well, I think we've got one more episode here, and then we'll conclude the Super Saimai Sanma. If you enjoyed this, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. Hope you have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.